with a new tutorial for Emily Soto's Fashion Actions. Today we're going to be working with a brand new action called Madison, which is released under the Victorian collection. So here I have a photo taken by Emily, and in this window I've gone ahead to zoom in on the face so we can take a look at some of the facial retouching I've done. I used the Fashion Skin Action, which is available from Emily, and it just shows such a beautiful and flawless way to go in and retouch that skin, giving us a beautiful, beautiful finish. Now the Fashion Skin is available on the website along with a full length tutorial on how to use it. Just go to fashionactions.com for more information. So we're going to go ahead and take a look at the Madison Action now. And it comes with two new options. We have the Pro option which is included with all of our actions and the One Click option. We'll go ahead and start with that one. The One Click option is great. It's a wonderful way to get this beautiful action run on your photo in just one easy step. Here we go and it's finished. Just letting us know that we still have the option to go over here into this, fo this folder and we can take a look at all the different layers and the way that it controls the way the photo looks and we can go in and make any changes you like according to your own editing style. So let's go ahead and take a look at the dodge layer here. We grab our dodge tool and we can go ahead and maybe dodge these flowers, bring those out a little bit more. Beautiful. We can come over here to our burn layer as well. Switch over to the burn tool. Maybe we can darken in this area right here on her hair. Just make a couple of quick edits and you can go through all of these layers to, to decide how that looks best for you. So that's the one click option. So quick and so easy. Next I want to show you the pro version so we'll just turn those ones off and click back on this layer. Alright, and just press play for that pro version. Now just like it always does, it's going to walk us through step by step. So this is for our curve, for our lighting in here. We can come in here, we can make as many adjustments as we like. Uh, to make it look brighter or darker, however you like it best to look for you. There we go, click OK. And here is our gradient for the floor haze, which is this light coming up down here from the bottom. You can drag it up as high as you'd like or keep it low, and you can always change the angle of it as well, just by clicking on this over here. And this is our soft light. Um, it's the haze, which we're going to probably put, you can place it anywhere you like on the photo. I like to put it up here close to my model and my subject's face. Right about there looks nice. Okay, and here's our last prompt letting us know that we've completed the action, and we can still go over here to the folder and make those changes like always. So maybe we'll come over here to the area light. I like to click things on and off just to see how it affects the photo, if I want more of it or less of it. And I'll just take my, my paintbrush tool with any of these that have the white layer mask over it. You can just grab that paintbrush tool and you can paint over anything you don't like to kind of erase a little bit of it or put it back or whatever looks best for you. So there we go, you can see that we've kind of erased that a little bit. Wonderful. And now I want to show you just one more tip which goes great with these actions and it's going to speed up your editing process so much. I'm going to turn off the pro version and I'll just show you quickly with the one click option. So it works best whenever you're editing with um, photos from the same set but I'll just show you quickly with an outdoor photo over here. Okay, there we go. So once you have your photos lined up, all you have to do is click on the Madison folder, which contains all of your edits, and you're gonna hold down the shift key on your computer, and you're just going to drag and drop this folder over here onto this other photo. And while you're still holding that shift key, just release it on there. And now you have all of the action of Madison run on this additional photo. Now we can come over here to the folder and maybe we want to make a couple of adjustments since this is an outdoor photo. We'll start with our curve layer and we'll just kind of pull it down a little bit more, maybe soften this up, lessen it, however you like it. There you go, I think that looks pretty nice. And there you have it. In just one easy step, you can just drag and drop by holding that shift key and it's really going to speed up your photo editing process time and it's a great way to apply those actions. Well, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and keep using those fashion actions and stay creative.